So it's 2012 A-Level Results Day and I'm here at South Cheshire College with one of our students who's doing particularly well. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, how are you feeling now? Um, pretty happy, also slightly shaky. Slightly shaky, <laughs> that's fine. So start off by telling us who you are and what A-Levels you've been doing this year. Uh, I'm Cassia Fletcher and I did Law, Politics and Philosophy. Okay, Law, Politics and Philosophy. And how did you do with those? Uh, well, I got two A's and a B. Okay, and uh, has that enabled you to go where you want to to study? Surprisingly, yes. <laughs> okay, where are you heading off to then? Oxford. Oxford, brilliant. And uh, which college are you going to be at then? Keeble. At uh, Keeble College. Yeah. Good. Uh, I understand that you did something extra as well as A-levels while you were at South Cheshire. Yeah, I did the extended project. Okay, and what, what did you cover as your extended project? Uh, the extent to which young people's uh, rights and liberties restricted by the UK education system. Okay, I don't know whether you feel that's the case anymore, but uh, um, how did you get on with your EPQ? Um, pretty well, yeah, I really enjoyed doing it. I guess I'm a bit of a nerd. Okay. <laughs> I like writing essays. What grade did you come out with? A-star. A-star, that's really good. Do you think that uh, that made a difference with you getting into Oxford? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I, I, I stopped missing my offer. Well, congratulations on getting to Oxford. Thank you. And uh, tell us, uh, what did you enjoy most while you were here at South Cheshire College? Uh, well, I mean, it was quite a big change for me because I didn't go to school, I did all my GCSEs from home. Um, and I really liked actually having teachers that if I didn't quite understand something, you can just go to your teacher and say, just sure. explain this to me. Whereas when I was at home, I didn't have anyone like that because my parents didn't really understand much about most of the subjects I was studying anyway, so I couldn't really go to them. Problems. So that was quite good. And also, you know, there's a lot more sort of people, <laughs> you make friends yeah. with people that you definitely get on with as opposed to just other people that you've met. And you see your friends a lot more. That's so, good. You know, so you've enjoyed the college environment? Yeah, yeah. That's good. So if, uh, if there are folks out there then who are looking to follow in your footsteps and go on to uh, one of the top universities in the UK, what would your top tip for success be for them? Um, don't stress about it too much, probably, um, because, I mean, you can see if you do miss your offer, it's not necessarily the end of the world if there are some other factors that might have contributed to that, or if you've done well in something else, like the extended project, they might let you in anyway. Um, and a lot of it is based off the interview, so your grades aren't the most important thing. They'll also consider how well you did in the interview. So. Well, that's very important to know, and uh, I hope that tip will help others we're also looking to go to university. So congratulations again. Thank you. And uh, all the best in the future.